and salam stratra. I am Yogashalini Virya and now you are with me on Buritan University, February 2013 edition. A total of 28,072 students from University Science Malaysia recently received RM250 worth of cash book vouchers under the Voucher Buku Satu Malaysia initiative. The Bulletin University crew will now be witnessing the presentation ceremony of the BB1M by the Minister from the Prime Minister's Department, Yang Berhormat Tan Sri Nur Muhammad Yaakob. The mock vouchers were presented by Political Secretary to Minister in the Prime Minister's Department, Tan Sri Nur Muhammad Yaakob and Muhammad Farid Saad. And also present was Deputy Vice-Chancellor, Student Affairs and Development, Professor Adnan Usain. Mereka mestilah uh, rasa bersyukur okay, uh, bahawa ada pihak, khususnya pihak kerajaan yang sentiasa memikirkan berkenaan dengan kebajikan belajar, faham masalah belajar berkenaan dengan buku. So itulah yang yang kita ingin pelajar-pelajar uh, uh, memanfaatkan dan rasa bersyukur. Yang ketiga, uh, janganlah pula kita menggigit tangan yang memberi. Okay, itu nasihat saya. Okay, menggigit tangan yang memberi maknanya apabila kerajaan memberikan kita uh, voucher buku dan sebagainya, janganlah kita, kita pula mengkritik kerajaan, memikirkan bahawa mereka ada udang di sebalik batu, uh, ini untuk tujuan politik, untuk pilihan raya dan sebagainya. Okay. A total of RM216 million had been allocated for students in institutions of higher learning and USM has received RM6.5 million which will be distributed to its students. The vouchers can be redeemed in the major participating bookshops nationwide. Kepada mahasiswa sedikit sebanyak dapat mengurangkan beban kami lah untuk membeli bahan bacaan. <laughs> Jadi, di kesempatan ini saya rasa pemberian voucher ini perlu untuk apa uh, mahasiswa terutama sekali kami sebenarnya memerlukan bahan bacaan yang banyak dan kita memerlukan wang untuk membeli buku dan bahan bacaan tu buku-buku tu bukannya murah kan jadi kita mengharapkan penggunaan voucher ni sebenarnya satu amanah yang diberikan kepada pelajar untuk menggunakan uh, voucher ni sebaik mungkin This conference is aimed to contribute on the ongoing debate of the current issues created by tourism through the development of new solutions we are now at the G Hotel for International Conference on Tourism Development 2013. The main purpose for this conference is to promote and enhance the sustainable tourism activities. Conference Chairman Prof. Badarudin Mohamad said that ICTD 2013 objective on the second consecutive year as a platform to build a sustainable future for tourism and bring together strong interdisciplinary research teams and local, regional, national and international stakeholders from industry, government and community sectors. To join conference in Yadekan and to memberi kekatuan laluan dan juga um, permahatan terhadap kajian-kajian baru dalam tourism, dalam pelancongan. Jadi, one aspect of this conference memang nak buat itulah. Jadi, kita memanggil semua orang yang datang dengan kajian yang baru dalam tourism dan dapat berbincang dan berkongsi pengalaman dalam kajian masing-masing. The conference was well attended by under 20 participants from countries including Korea, Australia, Japan, Taiwan, China, Kuwait, Jordan, Canada and Hong Kong. So I, I, I think one of the strong focuses of the conference has connected the taking care of the environment and tourism and looking at how the growth of tourism is sustainable. Now, many of the delegates here are academics, but we've also heard some really interesting presentations from industry representatives, from tour operators, from national tourism organizations, from um, Destination Malaysia, some many other um, perspectives. So I think it's very valuable to bring the academics together with the industry practitioners and also to give uh, students, both undergraduates and research students, some insights into that dialogue to hear the conversations taking place. The Maulat Nabi celebration was organised by Pusat Islam University Science Malaysia in conjunction with the nativity of Rasulullah which fall on the 12th of Rabi'l Awal in the Islamic calendar. 
All the Muslims reside in USM was invited to participate in ceremony which will be organized annually as to mark the remembrance of Rasulullah and as a part of the ceremony, Doha recital was held. Bersempena dengan Maulid Rasul, Masjid USM Mali Al Khalid mengadakan majlis kesyukuran. Istimewa majlis ini ialah makanan dihidangkan di dalam talam bagi menghayati sunnah Rasulullah. Islamic Center of USM held a zikir and a religious talk to commemorate the birth of Prophet Muhammad. Ustaz Roslan Chiros presented the Sharan Rawi followed by performance from Hal Hilhal by a form of Marhaban and Bazanji was played. Satu dolang tu tiga empat orang di samping makan tu boleh juga lah bertanya khabar masuk kata kita eratkan hubungan silaturahim lah sesama staff, masyarakat luar, student dan saya ucapkan terima kasih banyaklah ada di antara student kita yang datang. Sama ada MPM-nya, PMI-nya apa semua kan yang hadir tolong banyak bantu kita di sinilah. Jadi kemungkinan besarlah selepas ni bila kita nampak macam ni, kemungkinan besar kita akan buat lagi program yang bentuk macam lebih kurang macam ni juga. Yang mana kita jemput ke semua sekali. Bukan sekadar staff, student kita jemput dan masyarakat luar pun kita akan jemput juga lepas ni. BC pun hadir juga pada hari ini dan kita harap pada hari akan datang supaya staf-staf masyarakat luar dan pelajar sekali turut memberi sambutan kepada Pusat Islam dalam menjayakan program Sambutan Madu Rasul pada tahun ini. Perasaan saya bagi wakil Pusat Islam, uh, uh, Alhamdulillah uh, dengan kesihatan yang diberi oleh Allah Ta'ala ini uh, seronok kan? uh, bila kawan-kawan datang daripada jabatan lain macam orang cakap macam mereka nuri. Lepas tu kena masuk dalam sendiri. Ha, okay. Following other series of events held in University Science Malaysia throughout the month of February For the February news from USM TV, please log on to our website at www.usmtv.my and like our Facebook page at facebook.usmtv. I'm Yogeshalini Viria and thank you for watching.